you say Jamie? Yeah. So you good can. evening. Welcome to our show this evening. We have oh we have some little bit of whiskey. <laughs> we have the whole house full today. So we're going to let Aris introduce it and we welcome all of you listening in. We have some light of fog, a lot of things to say. Okay. Tonight we have representatives of a lot of places in town. So I don't know which one of you wants to go first. I think Sandra. I you, would be happy to. Sure. You would want to, okay. And then you other guys can introduce yourself as you go and uh, then start talking. And <laughs> we'll jump in and ask questions if we need to or else you can just talk away. And we can be on for an hour or an hour and a half so you don't have to rush and try to get everything said at once. So. It gives the women okay. a lot of talking time. <laughs> Okay. So the first one is Sandra Cabot, and she is our tourism director. Okay, in well, St. Jen. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me this evening. Jean came over to talk to me, and I said, "Well, you know, there's always something interesting going on in tourism in St. Genevieve." So I'm very glad to see that representatives from the Jure de Fête Committee are here this evening. Um, I won't have to talk about that topic. Um, <laughs> I really um, wanted to focus on. Um, this is the last week in uh, July, and this Friday night is one of the fourth Friday Art Walk nights, and Saturday is a really special day because um, it's going to be the 573 Chalk Art Festival. Originally, this was going to be on the last Saturday in June, and the weather prediction was for storms and thunder shower, or thunder storms and uh, lightning and everything, and so, they decided to postpone it for one month, and so it's going to be this Saturday, July 27th. It will be 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It will be down uh, in the area around Main Street Park and North Main Street in downtown St. Genevieve. They'll have the street blocked off on Saturday in that part of uh, Main Street, and there'll be all kinds of fun activities. Um, there will be chalk art um, drawings obviously there's a famous chalk artist who's coming into town iris i'm sure knows about him his name is craig thomas and he has done uh, competitive chalk art and created street art that has like a three-dimensional illusion aspect to it and so it might great. look like there's a oh. hole in the street that you could fall into it could look like a waterfall it could look like a big butterfly it could just be anything it's all the artist's imagination and so he'll be the featured artist and he'll be creating some amazing work of art on the street and hopefully it won't rain for a few days and <laughs> we'll get to see it for a while um, but besides the uh, professional art going on there will be opportunities for anyone who wants the, the chance to try their hand at chalk art we'll have chalk there obviously for older knees we'll have kneeling pads for you know the first 20 or so people that decide they want to try chalk art and um, you know just be a fun chance to get out and enjoy a day and if you have children or grandchildren who are artistically inclined um, maybe they're always doing chalk art on your sidewalk at home and this would be a chance for them to get together and do it in addition to the chalk art there'll be face painting Kona ice will be there there'll be kettle corn um, the um, storybook enterprises from um, Cape Girardeau that they have the um, the storybook princesses you know they go around and do parties and stuff they're going to have some of their characters dressed up as uh, princesses there so they'll be walking around in costume and you can take pictures with them things like that so that'll be kind of fun for the little ones and um, there's also going to be a thing called rock stacking has anybody heard or seen rock stacking going on anywhere so it's what it sounds like you take big rocks and stack them up to smaller and smaller rocks and you see how high of a stack you can get you see how creative you can get and there's awards for creativity and rock stacking and apparently it's a thing it's a trend going on that that festivals and things they do rock stacking all day oh, wow. so i've never heard of that one so no. so yeah who knew um so they'll be doing some of those there'll also be karaoke going on 
So again, if you just want to belt out a tune or if you have a teenager who really likes to sing and they have fun with karaoke at home, bring them down because not only will there be um, karaoke and they can bring, um, there's no charge for anything. All the, you know, you can do chalk art for free. All these things are free. But if they bring a canned good to give to um, a local food pantry, um, they can do uh, the karaoke and they can actually compete. Um, so that'll be fun. There'll be talent scouts there looking for um, kids who can sing or act. And they, um, this is uh, put on in conjunction with uh, the St. Genevieve Art Guild and 573 Magazine. And so 573 Magazine has relationships with um, like the storybook princesses and also the, um, the people that are recruiting for this uh, film festival that they're working on. So that'll be kind of neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there, you know, so there'll be face painting, there'll be street food, and yeah. then there's all the cute little shops and restaurants oh, yeah. right there in that area. And then there's the artists going to be there with Yes. Or them to, yes. To the art gallery, or three of them. Yes, I they'll be showing be. people how to use watercolor as a medium, and um, maybe even take that into uh, chalk okay. art too. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a fun day, um, just a a nice day to celebrate creativity, and and, and then it, if it doesn't rain right away, we get to look at it for a right. while. Right. <laughs> I remember years ago when they had the street art for the kids. It's been several years ago. Ten years, well, nine years. It was nine 2010. Years. Yeah. Okay, the kids had so much fun drawing on the street. Yeah. In their little squares. It, then it was squared off. They Is it going to do that again? They do two foot squares. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So any kids that like to do with the chalk stuff, bring them down because they have so much fun. They're so creative. Yeah. Kids they'll have chalk there, they'll have prizes. Um, oh, and there's a thing called a cakewalk, which, um, you know, like, I guess like a cakewalk, like we would have done at St. Agnes or something. But, um, so there'll be cakewalks going on too. Do you have to bring a cake? You don't have to bring a cake, but you might get to take one home. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> just what I need. Yeah. Cake dessert. <laughs> Is there an age limit on the kids? Two to 99. They'd probably take, that's 99 and up know. if they want it too. <laughs> yeah, if a 100 year old can get down, yeah. Yeah. more power to them. That's it. Yeah. Well, good. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So that's the 573 Chalk Art Festival this Saturday, July 27th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on North Main Street. Mm -hmm. And our regular fourth Friday art walk then, the Friday the night before. before. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is 6 to 9 p.m. on Friday night. Friday. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Anything else? Any Any questions? Is that it? I just want to know, where do the rocks come from for the rock building? You know, I asked the same thing. <laughs> they, 573 Magazine does enough of these events. I guess they, they bring them with they them. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Might be something new. Maybe everybody yeah. be making Everybody be having calling up rocks all over town. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, they they the yes, and those are oh, so good. Oh, yeah, I found them Thank around. you for saying that. And Gina's going to be there. Gina Bennett will be there with her she painted rocks. She makes beautiful rocks. Yeah. Oh, really? So maybe people will have a chance to do yeah. some of that, too. I think she said she was going to do Like that. demonstrate or let people participate. I think she said that, yeah. Mm. It'll be a fun day. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And the weather's probably not going to be really, really hot. Hotter than these couple of days, oh, but it's not supposed to be. Yeah, it'll be nice, but <laughs> it's not typically what we have in July. Right. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully, it stays. Yeah, we've had a couple of really nice yeah. days. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll have this for June Fest, maybe. <laughs> and we need that weather for the June Fest too, don't we? <laughs> that would be a miracle. That would Stretch be it out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's either hot or rainy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Thank who so wants much. to be next? Thank you. Let's follow <laughs> that. Yeah. 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 Great. Because it's right around the corner. Yeah. August 10th and 11th this year, and usually hot. So we always plan on the the heat wave coming through. But on Saturday it officially opens at 10. It's 10 to 6, and on Sundays it's 9 to 4. But on Saturdays people. 
the vendors are set up, they're ready, so people come in a lot earlier than 10. So that's the start of it. John, would you, would you? That's where I, doesn't work, but yeah. they can be too. <laughs> <laughs> and this year, right now we're at 100 vendors. So we had a kind good. of a slow start, but I think that is a lot of that has to do with the ferry was closed, the Chester Bridge was closed, and with the high water, who's going to come all the way around? So, but now it's kind of knowing that everything's opening back up. We're getting vendors calling and wanting to see. Well, that's that, great. Wanting good. to know if we have extra spaces. And so I think we're going to do real good. I think too. We also, and, and, and a lot of people may not know this, but Jerry Fleeg runs a race for us that weekend too. Um, they do that Saturday morning out of the local park. It starts at 8 o'clock. They do a 5K run and they do like a one mile fun run. So that's also that weekend, that Saturday morning. So uh, I'm not a runner, so I will not be there, but uh, a lot of people are. So that usually goes over very well. It does, yes. Mm -hmm. And then Hope Church is going to be bringing the bouncy houses back for us. Oh, They'll be set up in front of Moses Austin there. And it's free for the kids to come in. And they're going to be there. Like the, Last year they said only Saturday, but they ended up coming both days. And this year they said we're coming both, both days. Both days, yeah. <laughs> Do they kind of watch the kids for yeah, the Yeah, they parents? have people hold them. Yeah. But they even thought to bring a third bouncy house because then that way they put the smaller kids in one and the bigger kids in another. Because, you know, you get them both in there and sometimes. It's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how true. Yeah. You know, so yeah. 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 And they do good. They man it for us, which yep. we really appreciate. So they're a great they help. Enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. They do a lot of good community. Yes. Yes, they they're do. They're wonderful. They sure do. We also have some music. We supply the music just down at Moses Austin. There's other organizations in town that'll have music that weekend too. There'll be some beer gardens and things. But we have Josh. Driscoll, who's very popular, he sounds like Johnny Cash. He's there Saturday from 10 to 1, and then in the afternoon we have Wayne Gibbons. Um, he's there from 2 to 6, and then we have a local person, uh, Vernon Fleeg, that's there on Sunday, and he's there from 11 to 3. And um, I want to thank uh, the Muni Band because they help us with their grant, by, and it helps us bring those people into town. So we really appreciate the Muni Band with their grants. Now, who is Josh? Josh is out of, like, is Farmington, Fredericktown. My daughter got to know him when she worked at one of the wineries. He played there. Oh, okay. And uh, she just really liked his music, and she connected with him, and he said, yeah. And if his mom and dad's around, they come too, which is awesome. Uh, so sometimes it's the three of them. The last few years, we brought mom and dad, and they really, really sound good. I have more people brag about them. Brenda's lucky enough, she has a booth down there so she can hear them. <laughs> I'm running around all weekend, yeah. but um, he, they're just, they're very good. And Wayne Gibbons is good too. He does like the oldies, oh, which okay. is good. So it's a little different, it's not country. And then um, Vernon is country, and sometimes his grandson performs with him too. Vernon, so. Vernon is really, really good. Yeah, Vernon's yeah. very good. He does the keyboards. and his, I he, think does he does a lot of stuff. Yeah, he has a guitar too, but his, he enjoys bringing his grandson. So they're more than welcome. So. They sound Drums great. Yeah. Do they? Oh my God! Really? Yeah. Very talented. Then. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he's always looking forward to it. He he always thanks me when we ask him back. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then our food vendors are all mostly all coming back, and they're the we try to stay with the local organizations so they have a a fundraiser, but we do have a few outside ones come in that have something totally different. We have, uh, this year we have a pizza. A guy's gonna be set up, he's gonna be selling pizza. Yeah, that'll be something different. That's so. different. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lady called, is she out of Farmington? Mm -hmm. She makes cookies. That's, she's gonna have a, a stand for cookies. Well, oh, good. it's gonna oh, be macaroons. Macaroons. French macaroons is oh, what she okay. said. So. So. She makes them while she's there. I, mean, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if she oh, makes them while true. she's there, but she's gonna have them. Um, we had the discussion whether she was going to have them right. open as a food vendor or she was going to have them packaged where you can buy. Right. And she wanted to have them open. Now, did she say macaroon or madeleine? She said macaroon. Because oh, right. the French cookie is a madeleine. Macaroons, too, though. Are they? They're yeah. so it, good. Yeah, they're they really are. good. Yeah, yeah. mom like. used to make those. Yeah. Well, I'm excited because it's something different so that right. we were yes. happy to get her in the show. For she tell her to have coffee in the morning. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's coffee. Yes. Yes. Nobody has coffee on Sunday morning. And these vendors are going, where's the coffee? Well, and I think because it's so hot, nobody you know, wants to But bad. some people drink coffee. I know. It does not or whatever. Sure. I do. But, I do. And also this year we're having, um, there's an organization that's going to sell DQ blizzards. So oh. what? The DQ blizzards. Oh, oh okay. Wow. And, you know, who doesn't enjoy those on mm-hmm. a hot day? So right. that'll go over really well. So, And then Sunday, uh, the Knights of Columbus is having their chicken dinner, and they're also going to have the car show there. So we're not having a car show downtown anywhere, but there will be one Sunday at the Knights of Columbus. So I think that's still good for the okay. everything to be in the same weekend. So. Oh, yeah. And then we got World Bird yeah. coming back. Yeah, that's right. And this will be World Bird's final year. Yeah. They're going in a different direction, more educational type, instead of doing fairs and festivals. Now, who is that? World, World Bird. Bird. Sanctuary. Oh, the San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we yeah. hated that. We really enjoyed having them here. Um, and they set up in the, is it Felix? Valley. Felix yeah. Valley, yeah. And that is a perfect setup for them, but yeah, they did say it would be their last year, so that's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I think of Starmy when I think of World yeah. Bird, yeah. of course, yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, what else we got? Rotary oh, Club. Yeah, the Rotary will still do their duck, duck race. race. Yeah. That's fun. It, it's just different. I enjoy that, too. So. They have plenty of water. Yeah, plenty yeah. of water. There's Shouldn't be a problem. Water this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they'll be running that again. Um, we do offer shuttle bus service. Uh, it's just a small fee, but it'll be out at Eric Scott. And, you know, we have that both Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. And there's two locations they drop off at um, on Market Street, up by the bank, by City Hall there, right here, by City Hall. <laughs> and uh, then down by Moses Austin. So people have two choices of where they want to come in at and be picked up at. So um, that usually goes over pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? It. Project Pioneer. Oh, yeah, we have that this ceremony. year. Oh, yeah, opening ceremony. Thank you. <laughs> 10 o'clock at the Welcome Center, which we want to thank you. You always let us have it down there. And also, she lets us set up there. That's where vendors can check in on Friday. And I appreciate being in the air condition that day. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, but the Welcome Center at the opening ceremony, uh, hopefully, Brenda will be our little speaker again. Got me all this help, I guess I will be. Mm-hmm. We, always, we always nominate her. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have the honor families, and it's the Miss Play, and then the Schmidt and Smelsley. Is that correct? Yes. I know you yes. wouldn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and the St. Jen Militia will be around town again, and usually the German band is around, so it's just lots of fun things to do. And everything starts at 10 on Saturday and 10 on Sunday? 9 on Sunday. Oh, 9 early. Huh? Yeah, because it's 9 to 4. They close down early on Sunday. Right, so, right. Yeah. Okay. So it's 9 to 4 on Sunday? Mm-hmm. Sunday, yeah. yeah. But people are walking around town earlier than that. Oh, <laughs> people are walking around on Friday night. Yeah, they do <laughs> while they're trying to set up. Checking so. out the goods. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to get the streets at 6 o'clock on Friday night. That way the vendors can start setting up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moses Austin is great because they can set up early because it's the... They can start at 2. At 2, yeah. Okay. And that helps because they're off the road. They're right. supposed to start at 2. Yeah. I have gone down there and they didn't. Yeah. yeah. Some of them get a little anxious. <laughs> Some of them lose their way. They come and stay all night. <laughs> they did the night before. Yeah. Uh, I have one that spends the night on Friday night. Yeah, we have a few RVs that come in for that weekend for the, the vendors, so right. that works out well. And they can park down there. Mm-hmm. So, Sandra, I know you have to leave early tonight, so do you want to kind of tell times again real quickly and for the chalk event, for the, the chalk, chalk festival? Sure, and sure. And then we'll let you okay. leave. Okay, you thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so the 573 Chalk Art Festival, um, is going to be 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Saturday, July 27th, in the North Main Street section of downtown St. Genevieve, kind of in the area of Main Street Park. There'll be activities in the park, and the street will be blocked up. It'll take up the whole street. So. Okay, so bring all your little ones and join the Chalk Festival. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for coming on. Thank you directing our tourism in town. You're doing an excellent job. I appreciate that.
Okay, have a good evening. Okay. Thank you. And are you girls got a little bit more to say since you had a little break there, you think? Or? No. Can we just say our website if anybody's interested oh, sure. in that? Yeah. There's a lot of all the information's out there, all the times and everything. And of course, it's a very long website. It is St. Genevieve JuraDefet.com. No, easy to not remember for you, but when yeah. I'm telling people that are yeah, from St. Yeah, Joseph, you're just like, okay, let me spell this part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but people that are familiar with Jury, right, right. Yes. and it has no everything biggie. out there that you And usually they can Jury Fet, they get it. It's the Genevieve yeah. that gives them trouble. Yeah, <laughs> it's, and the Genevieve has a S-T-E, right? Well, yes. either we have both websites. I mean, it's we have the S-T-E and the S-A-I-N-T. Oh, do you? Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. To make it easy in case someone's searching, we have both of those domains. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, yeah. yeah, that's great. And so, and then also we're on Facebook. We did that a few years ago. Um, and that's probably get, a really great way. We're to answering a lot of questions on and Facebook. And our commercial. We got our oh. commercial on Channel 5 and Channel 12. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, good. we did that quite a few years ago, and uh, we spend quite a bit on advertising really do because yeah. we have to bring them in mm -hmm. um so yeah, if the people aren't here the vendors won't no um carrie does my daughter she does the advertising for us and oh, I, I personally think she does a pretty good job yes. on it but uh, the commercial we had to have it revamped because it was it was getting a little stale <laughs> we were getting i was getting tired of seeing me on it which i wasn't supposed to be on it to begin with but, um Anyway, so it was time to change it. So it, I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah. So we were able to add in there about the national park. So we were excited about that. We thought that might draw some people to right. St. Genevieve too. And once people come to St. Genevieve, they fall in love with it. Most people do. They do. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And it has so much history. And well, what I think the Jared Fed helps if they come down, like you said, and see it. It's not a good time to go in all the shops because it's so crowded. Right. So a lot of them are like, I'll come back and do that. And yeah. I think that's wonderful. And the houses, mm -hmm. I right. mean, they're yes. so interesting. And mm -hmm. half the people that live here have never been I in know. the houses mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that I, I was here for years before I ever went in and it was really, <laughs> really a, a treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll have the museum too. So oh yes, and awesome. the art museum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we'll have two museums. Yeah. That'll be cool. So the art girls finally have a going to have a home. That's good. I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. Yeah. yeah. In the county, we have to thank them for that because that was very generous of us. Lots of good things happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think both of those museums, you know, are going to bring a lot of people. I do too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a then I, there's a, a different crowd. Right, right. different right. type of crowd. Yes. Yeah. And then of course the Reinhardt uh, Gallery. Yeah is fabulous it's and there's beautiful. a couple new ones going in there too so. oh is there that's great yeah, so yeah, yeah it's, the town's really coming alive. up yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. okay if you want to okay. kind of go over your times again for the jordan fed opening closing and just mention a few of the activities again Okay. You can quickly <coughs> go through it or slowly, whichever way you want. <laughs> the dates are August 10th and 11th. On Saturday, we're open from 10 to 6. On Sunday, from 9 to 4. We have a 5K run on Saturday morning. We have all of our food vendors, all of our crafters are all set up. Most of the vendor food vendors are all local <laughs> organizations, and we try to keep it that way. And... Um, we got the World Bird Sanctuary, and we got the duck races with the rotary. <coughs> and then we have our bouncy houses coming in from Hope Church. Okay. Then the KC Hall has car show and, and dinner. Chicken dinner. And I think there, Keith was going to come. I don't know if he's coming later or what, but they're supposed to have racing and the park also. I did they? hear something about that. Yes. Um, what did he say? He was talking about the last time he was on at the fair. Is it Saturday, maybe? I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I know exactly. it's I a Jurta Fett weekend, weekend yeah. 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 And that's good. It's more And everybody than loves that yeah. racing up yes, there. Yes, they do. That, that is really added. They have a really nice crowd. That's mm -hmm. good. I'm glad. So if nobody out there hasn't checked it out and liked mm -hmm. speed <laughs> and watch it, I think they, look, they have it for the little kids, too. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I, and that's always a plus <coughs> to watch them because they're so cute. Well, and this so. ends early, so it's great. <coughs> right, exactly. Like that, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, and there's always things for people to do if you come down from St. Louis or whatever. I know the stores close up kind of early, but you know, there's the restaurants and seating places outside in front of a lot of the places that right. are closed that mm -hmm. you can just sit and mm -hmm. talk or whatever. And um, so come visit St. Genevieve. <laughs> Okay, whichever one of you guys, Lori or John, either <coughs> are. Yeah. Uh, so we Introduce have, yourself first. My name's John. I'm the um, operations manager at Crown Ridge Tiger Sanctuary. Um, and we have International Tiger Day coming up on mm -hmm. this Saturday, July 27th. Um, and it will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's, it's basically to celebrate International Tiger Day. It, which is technically um, Sunday, um, but it's basically a national day where we kind of, um, to bring awareness towards the issues that tigers face in captivity and in the wild. Um, and so this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, and it's one of the few days out of the year where you don't have to be on a tour um, to walk around the sanctuary. So you can come anytime between 10 and three um, and uh, tickets can be purchased ahead of time um, on our website for $6 a person. Um, and then otherwise, if you buy them day of, it's just $10, which is our normal ticket price. Um, and kids three and under are free. Um, and we'll have, uh, not only will you get to come and see the Tigers, they'll be getting special enrichment um, to celebrate the day. Uh, we'll have uh, vendors on site, we'll have food, um, we'll have snow cones, um, carnival games, like educational games for the kids, um, some art stuff for the kids to do. Um, and then we'll also have like a silent auction that has a bunch of baskets put together from, um, you know, businesses from St. Jen, from Farmington, from St. Louis, from all over. Um, and so I think we have like 32 baskets of all kinds of different stuff. Um, so that's another, um, fun thing you can do and all of the all the money raised just goes back to taking care of the cats um, and it is supposed to be pretty nice out um, which is good and so the cats should be a little bit more active since it's a little bit cooler for them <laughs> um, and yeah it should be a lot of fun we usually get a lot of kids and we'll have um, one of the things that we just started last year was um, two of our cats will do paw paintings so they'll paint um, oh. and so we have, we've made like sheets where half of it the cat has painted and then half of it the kids get to paint. Um, wow. And so you can kind of have a painting by you and the cat. Um, so we'll have those. Um, and the only, the one other, normal parking won't be at our facility because we don't have that much parking. Um, so handicap and stroller parking will be at the sanctuary. Um, all other parking, it's just, 200 feet north of the sanctuary. There's a big field and we'll have signs and stuff and then we'll have a free shuttle bringing you back and forth. Uh -huh. um, so it should be good. Um, I think that that's the basics of it. Um, I have a couple. First question, when is it? Um, what so the it's, times are? <laughs> it's this Saturday, mm -hmm. so July 27th. Uh -huh. And then it'll start at 10 and then end at 3. So, um, and we'll, we'll, we will have two tours um, during it where one of us will go out and kind of talk about the animals and stuff. So those will be at 10.30, so basically right when people get there, and then there'll be another one at 1.30 um, in case you're not there right at the beginning. Um, um, so we are um, located on uh, State Route B, uh, so just on the other side of 55 from downtown St. Jen. Um, basically just go over the highway and then we're about 10 or so minutes down that way on your right. Um, so, and there'll be a bunch of signs so you, it'll be pretty easy to find us. Um, and if you can't make it on Saturday, we also, we do general tours year round, um, Thursday through Sunday at 11, one and three. Um, so if you can't make it just for this event, you can still come out and see us and visit us. Um, and Basically, you get to see the cats, see why they're there. They're all rescued cats, so all these guys are rescued from situations and where they're... how many do you have now? Currently, we have three. Three. 
Um, yeah, so we have three tigers right now. Um, we're working on some more rescues, um, but we don't have them quite yet. So um, right now we just have the three tigers that are there. Um, you say on B, go north on B? You just turn off to the left on B, right? Or left, that's south. Yes, okay. south. South on B, yes. okay. Yes. You about how far down? Um, about 10 minutes. Yeah. Don't B only go one way from the highway? Oh, mm -hmm. I Yeah, from the highway yeah. it does. I'm yeah, yeah. yeah 32. Yeah, yeah, from 32. 32. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, it only goes, mm -hmm. you get on B, whichever you're com coming from there, you can turn right, come yeah. up to St. Jane and go left. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to get to, and, and it'll be easier than usual because we'll have signs and stuff for event parking and right. the events yeah. and things and like so that. And so that would be good for the morning of yeah. Dure de Fet to do some of the activities well, this will be this, yeah. this will be this weekend. Oh, not your oh, that week. So the, it'll be good oh, for the chalk okay. though. So okay. you can come and do the chalk, the chalk and then come festival. to us, or come okay. to us and then do the chalk one. So yeah, yeah. 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 So there, that's good that there's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so hopefully it'll bring. More and the kids that down. are painting the chalk, you got signs around letting people know it. <laughs> With their kids, yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's yeah. usually a lot of people around. Yeah, we have yeah, um, we have uh, our flyers and stuff in the um, visitor center and things like okay. that. You but, said yeah. this weekend, and I threw it to the Jura de Fet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hopefully, we'll get a lot of people to come <laughs> also for Jura de Fet because that usually brings a lot of people down here, and then right. people need something else yeah. to do for an hour or something so they can come and see. For the weekend of Jura de Fet, then you'll have regular tours then. Yep. Yeah, we'll have our tours. Yep, Thursday through Sunday at 11, 1 or three, and you can just. Come. Are you open during the week also? Um, we are. But you have to just call and make a reservation because oh, we're not, okay. like we're always there because we have to take care of the cats. So we can right. usually do a tour during the week. You just have to give us a call and let us know, okay. um, and then we can we can like usually, if a group wants it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can usually yeah. accommodate. Okay. So yeah. and these tours are eleven, one, and three. Correct. Okay. And this Saturday it's ten thirty and one thirty. Yeah, yeah. But you can come in any time between ten and three. Other yeah. days they don't let you just go through. They uh, you have to take the tour. But yeah. this Saturday you can just walk through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. they have a tour at ten yes. thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll have there'll be staff and keepers around the whole time. So even if you don't come on a tour time, they'll be around the enclosure. So we'll right. be answering your questions and, tell, and telling you about the cats and stuff. So yeah, which yeah, be and they're so beautiful. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. 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 They are. They're massive. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're huge. <laughs> yes, they are. Feels so sorry for them because they've been places they shouldn't have been. And yeah, they can't go back home. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and that's basically we just we ideally these guys wouldn't be in captivity because they wouldn't have had you know they wouldn't have been neglected and stuff. But we just work to give them the best life that they can have for the rest of their lives. So yeah. they get to at least have the rest the last few of their years in peace and happy. So. And so are most of them adapt well because they've been in captivity since they're Yeah, little. yeah, for captivity, yeah, most of these guys, they're, unfortunately, they're used to being in captivity, so yeah, they don't. They don't some of them, when we get them, they'll be, they're more aggressive. Um, they might not like people because, you know, they were abused or something like that, yeah. but usually after a little while, once they kind of, you know, get used to it and get yeah. comfortable, then they have to, they kind of. They're very intelligent up, animals. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they're very smart. Um, but yeah, they're still, even when once they get used to us, they're still dangerous. We don't ever go in with them. We don't ever have contact with them because um, they're still tigers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mention your times once more. Uh, so it's International Tiger Day, July 27th, this Saturday, um, from 10 to 3 p.m. And if you buy your tickets beforehand online, they're only $6. And if you buy on the day of the event, they're $10 a person. With kids three and under are free. And you're out on B Road, about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming yes. tonight. Yeah. Hopefully you'll get a big crowd there. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Beautiful weather, perfect yeah. for being out in the outdoors. Yeah. Okay. And now we have Lori with some fun stuff too. <laughs> yeah. this, all this this evening was a lot of fun a lot of it was yeah. lots of yeah. great events going on in right. St. Genevieve it's really amazing it is. you don't realize how much is going on until you sit down and, and start, talk, start talking about everything yeah. <laughs>
So I'm Laurie Fowler, um, representing St. Agnes Parish, um, our annual parish picnic, which we call a summer bash. And it's August 24th, so I'm a little early, but the timing just didn't work to do this in August. <laughs> so, um, but we have um, something new that we're doing this year. And so we thought maybe even doing it a little early might help promote that somewhat. Um, but we're going to do a glow in the dark bingo that evening. So now, I'm being curious. Are you yeah. going to tell us what that is? I am right? going to tell oh, you exactly. Okay. Yeah. I, I saw that on Facebook. <laughs> what in the world is a glow in the dark bingo? It's yeah. exactly what it is. So you play bingo. Um, you have you have ten ordinary games, two extra games, and the place is dark. We have someone that comes in and puts black lights up on both sides of the walls of the building. And your paper is glow in the dark, your dauber is glow in the dark. And you get a couple little uh, glow in the dark items, maybe a bracelet or something else that, that comes with it. Um, and so you play 10 regular games of bingo and then there's two special games that um, you'll pay just extra money. Uh, to play those if you're interested that's that's not a have to there's a DJ that is there um, with glow-in-the-dark items on um, he kind of has music so he, he plays things up a little bit in between the games he has a little fun to the night so they pretty much say this isn't your your mama's bingo and that's exactly right it's a little bit different but it's still bingo um, so it's $20 uh, in advance for tickets on $25 at the door. If you um, come that night, the $20 gets you one book of bingo sheets. There's six cards per sheet, so you'll get your 10 sheets for your regular games. And then um, the prize money is $100 per win. The two special games that you buy into, the uh, prize money is 50% of the jackpot that you take in. Depends on how many people play and how many cards are bought. Um, just a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Bring your snacks. We provide the drinks, but you're welcome to bring your own snacks for the evening. Buy a table with friends to come and just have a good time out for the evening. And it's August 24th, which is hot outside. It's cool inside. So we do this at the KC Hall in Bloomsdale. Um, this is in conjunction with our, our annual summer bash. Um, so um, it is a hot day. But that is inside at the KC Hall in Bloomsdale. Is that Sounds on a like Saturday? Awesome. It's on a Saturday. Right, right. Yeah. Yes, our parish picnic is um, it's a little different than most. We, we have it on a Saturday versus a Sunday. We have it on the KC grounds versus at our parish because our parish doesn't have the grounds available. So, so that's why we call it a summer bash. We just kind of do a little bit different since we're doing a little bit different than everyone else does. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the summer bash itself, um, we have a car show, a tractor show, um, that starts at noon, and we have the typical fried chicken dinner that most parishes do have. We start that at 11, from 11 to 4. We have fried chicken and ham. Um, you will get both. It's not an and, not an and or, it's a both, um, along with your typical mashed potatoes, green beans, liver dumplings, roll, salad or slaw, a drink, um, and a dessert, all one price. It's, it's a big meal. Um, we have uh, one of the, we kind of started, I guess, the big washerboard tournaments in the area when we started our summer bash. It's for uh, children ages grade one on up, um, and we break it down into groups, grades one, two, and three are their own little category and of grades four, five, and six, and then uh, seventh grade and up is considered adults. Um, that's a little bit extra, um, depending. The children's are $3 a person. The adults are $10 a person. Uh, and we ask people to bring their own uh, partner. But sometimes there's a little one running around looking for somebody, so if you don't have one, there's a chance somebody might be there to, to partner up with. Um, we do start the morning off with a 5K run, our one-mile walk, uh, at early, 8 o'clock in the morning, so before it gets just too hot out. Um, throughout the day, we have games, of course, concessions. We have a bounce house. 
our games, we do uh, a band. The, we uh, sell bands for $10 and um, per child, and that gives them all day play um, for the bounce house and the games. They don't have to continue ask mom and dad for money. Uh, they, they can just play all day once they have a band on their wrist. Um, let's see, we have concessions with burgers and drinks and we have the DQ blizzards, um, kind of your typical nachos food. We have a poker stand. Um, of course, we do the quilt raffle, uh, which we start selling ahead of time, but we'll do the drawing that day. We do 50-50 throughout the day. Um, and then come the evening, we have the horseshoe tournament open to men and women. And we kind of thought this year we might see more men because we may have women playing bingo and the men playing horseshoes that evening, but we'll see. <laughs> but that was what we were kind of thinking may end up. So um, we do have our dinners from 11 in the morning till four in the afternoon. And we do have a little dinner music um, inside the KC Hall. We have uh, Al Hook, Rick Meyer, and Ken Griminger. And they've done this for us for the last few years and they do a really good job. Uh, great musicians. Everyone seems to enjoy them. So if you know it's a hot day and you like to listen to a little music, you can always come out and sit at the KC Hall and chit chat with some people and enjoy some music. So I think that covers everything. But it's a busy day. <laughs> <laughs> And Lori, if you want to leave that, we can mention it on our August 14th oh, show perfect. also. Yes, absolutely. To remind people since sure. it didn't this work out for you to come this is later. August yeah. 24th. 24th. Yeah, okay. we're a little ways away off yeah. from yeah. that yet. Yeah, almost a month. Yes, so almost if you a month. Leave your there'll information, be a few other picnics we'll in between, but right. um, mm -hmm. yeah, it was just. Uh, and I've gone out there, and it is a, a fun day. It yeah. is a fun day for yeah. the family. The kids just yeah. kind of run. The parents don't have to worry about them. Right, because they're so contained. They're there so contained. In that area. We have yeah. yes, all the kids' things are in one area, and yeah, it is a fun day for families. And that's that's kind of the purpose of the picnic, and everyone to be able to have a little bit of something that they like to do. But uh, yeah, so the glow in the dark bingo, something different we're going to try this year. We'll see how so, that works out. The bingo card, this has still got me. <laughs> <laughs> the bingo cards are, the numbers and everything are glow in the dark. Yes. Okay. Yes, and your dauber ink is glow in the dark okay. as well. Yeah. So. That know. sounds like really different. Different, but, exactly. Yeah. Different. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things you can try it to really, yeah. you know. And what time does that start? That, that uh, we open the doors at 6.30, um, the bingo starts at 7.30. Okay, and that's the day of the picnic? The day of the picnic, August 24th, that evening. Mm -hmm. That's at night. That's at night, yes. Okay, yes. And the horseshoes are at night, too? And the horseshoes are at, at 6 in the evening. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that goes until um, it's just a draw for partners, so anybody can come and put their name, or put their name in to um, play, and they'll just draw for a partner, whoever you, you draw. It's who you team up with. And that just goes until they're they're done playing. Depends on how many people sign up and how many teams uh, they the end up I with. The reason I asked because you said you know the wives could go to bingo and the men could go <laughs> play horseshoes. That's right. That's right. They sure can. But we do have a, women that like to play horseshoes as well. So uh -huh. um, yeah, any of them, anybody that wants to play is more than welcome. Um, and of course, we have the beer stand open until. Probably 10 o'clock ish. You know, that's about the time they're usually winding down. And 10, 10 30 is probably about the time we think the bingo will be winding down as well. So it might end about, about the same time. Yeah. That'll be a long bingo. Um, about th two hours, two and a half hours long bingo for, for 12 games. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that in between stuff that adds yeah, to the that fun. Adds <laughs> Right. But you said 6.30 it starts. We open right? the games, the doors at 6.30. Bingo starts at 7.30. Oh, at 7.30. 7 7 oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, when and you I said 10.30, I thought. I, yeah, we're thinking probably 10-ish. Yeah, I would, we were thinking around 10-ish. Yeah. It would probably, it would probably end, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Something Fun different stuff today. for St. Jim and beyond. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Come out to the northern end of the county. <laughs> <laughs> And we can go west to the 
Tiger it's Sanctuary tiger and <laughs> downtown for downtown for the Jura de Pet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, just to remind everyone, this Friday is the uh, fourth Friday. So we have featured artists at um, several places in town. The Art Guild has their um, work in the winery, the St. Genevieve Winery. Mm -hmm. And the feature artist this, uh, for this month is uh, Virginia. Uh, well, um, <laughs> 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 Virginia, <laughs> Virginia White. Virginia <laughs> White. I was thinking Dr. Doctor because oh, he's the right, bit. Dr. <laughs> yes. 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 Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> Virginia White, I know for real. I mean, I know the name very well. But anyway, um, she's going to be the featured artist there. She's kind of new with the Art Guild, and she does a really nice work. So, And also, if anybody out there wants to join the Art Guild, you're welcome to do so. Um, I think Lisa's down at Sassafras on uh, Main Street. That's Jean's daughter. And Lisa Palmer. Yeah, Lisa Palmer. And then there's art all over town. Yeah. Yeah. Terry, Terry Cavins yeah. and um, Jean Reese over. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think in the paper it lists all the artists. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, come on down. It's always nice on Friday nights. You can eat at several of the restaurants, and if you want, and walk around from six to nine, or take a break in between and sit outside at the tables or inside at one of the restaurants. It should yeah. be a beautiful evening. Yeah. We yeah. haven't had One very many of those mm -hmm. since the first oh, since no. the art walk we started. Uh -uh. That I think last month and this month are the no rainy ones. Uh, yeah. 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 The rest yeah. of them I yeah. think got a little bit month. of rain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway. Okay, Mary Ann, you have something to talk about. Yes. Um, on Tuesday, July the thirtieth, at the uh, Autobahn Grill and Bar downtown, they uh, give ten percent of the profits taken from four o'clock eight o'clock and they go to the Golden Age Club and the St. Genevieve Nutrition Center and they also have a 50-50 there that they participate that you can participate in but that's in downtown downtown St. Genevieve and that's the 30th and it goes from 4 to 8 and whatever you your supper is 10% of that goes to the Golden Age Club and to the Nutrition Center. Mm -hmm. That's great. And it's a good cause. Absolutely. And yeah, July. And every Tuesday, actually, the Audubon uh, they have sponsors something. somebody. So this month if anybody did. wants to go out <coughs> and um, talk to them, you go down to the call the restaurant and mm -hmm. tell them that you would like to be on a Tuesday. Oh, and they have a calendar oh. to put you in. The Art Guild was uh, this Tuesday, and the <laughs> Tuesday before that. was the hospital. <laughs> yeah, we've done it before. Yeah. I think we're doing it like the 18th of August. Oh, are yeah. you really? I think so. We have it one of the weekends. Yeah, if the, you go to the Audubon's August, website, so. they have it all listed who's yeah. going to be there. So if you have a yeah. group you want to support, you can go yeah. there and look and see and see who's there and yeah. what they're doing. So. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's really nice of them to do that. And oh, yeah. It, mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not a really big <coughs> amount you get unless you have a super-duper crowd, yeah. but right. I know the Art Guild's got over 100 both times we've done it. So. so, and the Rotary Club, I think when they did it, they had a really, really big crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their income was, but they had a really That's nice crowd. Yeah. Yellow Timers they, group had it the first part of the month, didn't they? Do what? Yellow Timers group had it the first part of the month. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I went to that one. Uh -huh. We're hoping we have a good crowd because that goes to the Golden Age Club and Nutrition Center. Both of them do a lot. <coughs> Mm -hmm. We have they do yeah. parties and things and as much as party as, as you they can. Help build the sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> regular bingo, not glow. In not glow in the dark. Regular <laughs> bingo every Tuesday. Nope. Cards every Wednesday. <laughs> and what else is going on out there? Thursday cards, they play Thursday. cards too. And, oh, two two days of cards. Well, they do Wednesday different and Thursday. Uh, yeah. Different games on Thursday. And then uh, <coughs> what do they do on Monday? Oh, Monday they have dancing. Yeah, sometimes. line dancing. They, they, haven't, lately. Dancing, yeah. they haven't lately, but they no, can't. They'll but start it up anytime. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, so it's fun to come out there, and you anybody can come and eat. It's just the seniors have the 
economical price that sure. the other ones pay a little bit more. Sure. And the sure. food is always good. I've heard that. Yes, mm -hmm. very That's good food. Really I know a lot of people come with their parents that mm -hmm. are younger. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. come with their parents. Although not many people bring children, but they're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come in. Sure. Okay, so July 30th, got there tomorrow. Not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to let you say when everything's going on. I'm shutting up for the rest of the night. <laughs> Okay, Mary Ann or Jean, take over. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> she was taking notes. Yeah. Okay, Mary Ann, read your notes. <laughs> well, we have the 24th. Yeah. For the Tigers, right? The Tigers. 24th. Which we do. 27th. 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 Tigers. Sorry. <laughs> See, Mary Ann can't make, take notes. I can't. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. <laughs> uh, we don't want to confuse you people out there. Lori and John, will you please tell what time, yes, what dates are you are again? <laughs> yes, the International Tiger Day is July 27th, this Saturday, from 10 to 3 on Highway B. <laughs> and our summer bash and glow bingo is uh, Saturday, August 24th, and we are basically dinner starts at 11. Everything goes on. Uh, the bingo open doors open at 6:30. Bingo starts at 7:30, um, and we do have this on our St. Agnes and St. Lawrence.org website. We have it also pasted on the St. Agnes Facebook page. And there's flyers around town because we do have names and numbers if anyone wants to contact for pre-sales tickets. All right, thank you. And thank you both for yeah. being on. Thanks for asking. Yeah. And we hope we didn't confuse the audience. <laughs> <laughs> we did okay. And the 30th at the Audubon. The 30th at the, the Audubon. Audubon. The Art Walk is Friday of this week. So come on down from 6 to 9 and walk around and see the art and buy Christmas presents. Thank you both. For and being enjoy here. the weather. <laughs> yes, thanks a yeah, lot for being on. Yes, thanks, sure. thanks for allowing. Anytime you want to call, come back, just give us a call. Okay, yeah. sounds great. <laughs> we always love guests. Oh yes, I I'm sure. That's what you makes have our a show, show, right? <laughs> <laughs> you talk to the empty table. <laughs> you yeah, we bring a <laughs> But that would be a no-no. Yep. <laughs> All right. <Get> you <laughs> Thank you out there for okay. watching us and. Hope we didn't confuse you too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank everyone you. Have a good evening. Good night, everyone. Good night.